Hello, here is a drawing video after a while. So, I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of me drawing. I will make one video where we're gonna draw from the sketch. So, first step when you draw, you have to have a sketch. Okay, and this is my sketch. Of course, your sketch is going to be messy, but this is how you get the rough idea of what you want to draw actually. So, after you have your sketch, you put the sketch on the lower opacity and you gotta add one more layers where you're gonna make the line art, okay? So, you just need to line up again the sketch just to make it more um, more cleaned so second step is line art as I said uh, you can you use your sketch as your reference and just line it up okay so that's the second step and then once you're done with the line art we are good to go for another step which is just add a new layer and then we're gonna go with the third step which is coloring but make sure that layers is under the layer of your line art so third step coloring so i'm just gonna add a base color you can change you can choose any color but for me i love to use white because my character which is this cat named mao that which is my official character for my shop the cat color is white so i'm just gonna go with white so why do we need to have best color um to make it easier for you to color <laughs> yeah that's it and to make it easy for us to use clipping mask and um alpha lock so when you finish adding the best color just clean up the edge and then you can add another color I'm gonna start with this motorcycle first. I'm gonna add. We're just gonna add colors, you know. Yeah. Any colors you want, but if you want, like, how do you pick color? Um, Pinterest. Um, you just can look for reference picture or anything, and then you just can follow the color scheme. Yeah, and for this one, I just used my imagination, like, what colors look good together. It's just using my instinct. <laughs> yeah. And then, enjoy the ASMR. Okay, once you're finished with your best color, we're gonna go with the next step, which is the fourth one, adding shadow. Okay, this was really easy. Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to add shadows. Just 
pick the same color and then you just lower down the brightness and the saturation and it will produce a nice shadow color I'm gonna teach you further about it on the next video so just add shadows on parts of your drawing that you think will make a shadow just I'm just adding it randomly there's no like guidelines or anything So once you're done with adding shadows, just add like small details. I'm just gonna add like some shining lights effect using the A brush brush and just use the same color as the lamp. And we're just gonna push it around the lamp. And then I'm gonna use Gaussian blur and put it up and there you go. Your shining light effect. Lower than opposite if you're not satisfied with the color. And then, yeah, that's it. Just pick up. I love using plain background color. If I'm lazy, I will do plain background one. If I'm not lazy, we do a full background drawing. This is how it looks like. Once you're done with everything, okay, your next step is to add your watermark. This is important, especially if you're going to post it on social media or anything. You need to add your watermarks. You can have any kind of watermarks. For me, I use these. My business name, and then just like will square here and there doesn't have to be perfect just as your watermark so people know that's yours okay really important to have a watermarks and now we are done with the drawing so wait for the next video I will teach you we will draw starting from this scratch from this sketch okay so we can draw together so yeah, thanks for watching.